It's unique in several ways. Uh, first is the fundamental technology that we're using. Uh, we can better understand context than other companies because we look at message messages over time. So say Apple, is that the fruit or is it the company that makes cell phones? We can actually determine. Which sounds simple, but it's a hard problem. It's a really hard problem for a computer. Computers don't have that inherent common sense that we do when we see that text. But by looking at the conversation over time, we can help approach, we can help solve that uh, and make the computer be able to understand the nuances of that conversation. What's been the success rate of, in that example, what's been the success rate of the prediction improvement? So, uh, first of all, it's hard to measure because this occurs across all kinds of language. So, you know, specific words like that um, are an example of where you need that disambiguation of meaning over time. Even things like, you know, the word cool, does that mean yes or is it a temperature? Right. Uh, that's an example that we can help you know, understand based on that history. But our approach is it's unique in that we can not only disambiguate between the meaning of those words, but we can seamlessly mix in computers talking with people talking. So you can go from interacting directly with a computer, where it's responding back to you, to having an agent take over, and you don't know the difference. From the Happens consumer seamlessly. perspective. Exactly. From the agent perspective, once they take over, we're continuing to suggest messages to them and make their job easier, but we do all of that seamlessly. And it's a, it's a unique approach in the industry. All of that's adding up to a 20% efficiency is what you're seeing with some customers. How do you measure yeah. that? Yeah, so we think about it very holistically. You know, we don't, when we talk to companies, we talk, how do you deliver the best customer experience and the best support given the amount of money you put out? And it's not about just reducing costs. You know, you can't reduce cost at the expense of customer satisfaction because you kill your revenue. I think, I think this is a really <laughs> important point. Not everyone's focusing on that revenue line anymore. Everyone's yeah. focused on the cost reductions and the benefits of AI and cost reduction. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, using technology like ours, you can actually deliver a better customer experience that helps drive that revenue. Companies today can differentiate by having these ongoing conversations where they really get to know the customer. They talk to them from the, the initial point of contact, from you know, our marketing experience, through sales, and then to support, all in one seamless conversation. And it's a much more effective way to build a relationship with a company, and it helps, it helps drive that revenue. Um, so our goal is to use technology to enable companies to do that while not blowing their budget. Uh, of course. Yeah. But one of the things the agents are excellent at, the live agents, are excellent at is building that rapport with the customer, having that interaction that's so a personal interaction. How do you replace that? You know, the, the answer is you don't. At most of the companies we talk to, they want that. They want that personal interaction. They want their agents to joke around with you as a customer and build that rapport. What we try to do is eliminate, eliminate the tedious things. So, say you ask a question about your bill. The agent shouldn't have to look up that information and say, please, please wait while I look at that for you they should have that answer right there so that they can continue that conversation with you, get to know you, and then give that answer to you immediately. Right, and that actual outcome is causing the cost savings, but also allowing the revenue line to be protected, if not grown, yeah, that exactly. rapport is maintained with the customer. So what is, is the 20% efficiency coming from a compilation of actual cost reductions today, or is that revenue growing as well? So again, we think about it holistically, uh, but the numbers that we try to influence are concurrency for one. That means the number of conversations that an agent can handle at once while maintaining that high quality. Um, the second is time to resolution. So how long does it take for that agent to make you satisfied as a customer and ready to move on or make a sale? Um, and then uh, beyond that, customer satisfaction has this organic effect of increasing revenue. It increases right. resales, it increases word of mouth. Uh, and that's, that Brand is Brand KPIs are driven positively. Yeah, exactly. And that is the most effective way for companies to really grow their business is to have happy customers. Um, okay, and but we help uh, enable that. Okay, but uh, uh, with all that said, consumers are still going to be skeptical about getting the same level of service from a machine as they get from a human. Totally. How do you address that concern? The answer is we're not replacing the, the person with the machine. Um, there are segments of these conversations that we provide where you don't know whether you're talking to a computer or a person. But the fact is you'll never know that because if the computer doesn't know, it waits for the agent to take over. So you don't get that bad experience where you end up in some kind of loop like an IDR system of, you know, of the old days. 15 right. years ago. Exactly. Those were always fun. Yeah, those are, yeah, those were always fun. So as a, as a customer or as a consumer, our goal is that you never know. And the outcome of that is then that the, the IT department can integrate the solution faster, 
roll it out faster without disrupting the labor force as well. Yeah, exactly. So um, we provide uh, tooling that lets companies integrate our technology into different live chat systems, CRMs. If they have custom systems that handle order, they can integrate into any of those. And what our technology does is help make their agents more efficient seamlessly. So they just get suggestions alongside these conversations. They don't really have to do any work. And ultimately our goal is that they, the company, spend less time and less money actually training these agents. So we try to standardize that experience. You know, if you're talking to agent one, you should have the same experience as talking with right. their coworker in the room next door. We help standardize that.